In entertainment, Majek Odumi Fashake, popularly known as Majek Fashek, passed away on June 1, 2020, after suffering a critical illness. He died in the United States of America. Plus, TV Africa's entertainment show, Tea Time, caught up with Charles Novia, a veteran Nigerian filmmaker, who revealed that there is a biopic in the works titled Rainmaker, The Majek Fashek Story. On your end, personally, what would you be doing to protect his legacy and make sure the fire keeps burning? Well, um, when, I, when he was under the record label, he gave me the rights to a biopic on him, um, to shoot a film on him, a bio, a bio movie. And we have started all the planning. I've written the script, which he approved, and I've come to America, um, talked to a couple of um, guys in Hollywood that we were about to shoot. So I had cast Francis Duro back then, 2006, to play Majek. And because um, Francis had that... that uh, the, the height and a little bit of the look, so he was losing weight and learning the guitar. But somewhere along the line, we couldn't trace the kind of funds needed for that because mm. it, was, it was supposed to be an enough biopic to be shot on 35 mm then back then. But it's something that I think um, for in, for the generation that we have right now, the generation mm. that knew him, that I think it's a project that I think I want to carry on and do, and I'm going to re react. And what would the title now. be? Say it again, please. What would the title be of the biopic? Well, it was called The Rainmaker, The Magic Fashek Story. That was all it called. That's, that's still the title. Rainmaker, The Magic Fashek Story. Mm -hmm. uh, because he told me a whole lot of things. That, well, I think he was scared a little bit at one time. He was scared that, you know, uh, so there's something very uncanny, he said. So he was scared when we were about to He called me one day and said, you know this biopic you're going to do? Forget it. Shoot it when I'm dead. Mm. And I said, no, come on, I'm not going to shoot it that. People need to know when you are, see you. And I said, no, shoot it when I'm dead. And I just remembered that this morning when I, when I heard the news. And I'm like, you know, um, then he, he, this guy is, uh, he was, like I said, spiritual. He was a prophetic kind of person. 